live from Denver for Monday Night Raw. In the Mile High City marks the start of the road to WrestleMania. For some superstars, that road is paved with gold. For others, they run out of gas and have to wait an eternity for a tow truck. Thanks for the uh, poetic metaphor, King. Tonight's show is highlighted by a World Heavyweight Championship match. John Cena will get a shot at champion Chris Jericho. I don't know why you think you deserve a title shot all of a sudden, but it really doesn't matter, Junior. I'll beat you tonight, then you'll have to retake your spot at the back of the line where you belong. an awestruck eight-year-old fan sitting in the cheap seats. The center stage with a much bigger task at hand, the World Heavyweight title. John Cena spoiling for a fight, and you know Jericho will give him one. Oh, and the knee connects. Here we go! Irish whip! Look at Cena go! Chris Jericho claims tonight he will end the phenomenon of John Cena. That this fairy tale is going to conclude very badly. And he hits the neck breaker. Oh, that headlock's on tight. Chris Jericho had to dish out, rose to the occasion, and now he's the world heavyweight champion. Of course, that means every other Raw superstar will be looking to take that title from him. John Cena's been in this position before. He knows what it takes to stay champion. Good night from Denver. Smackdown in lovely Tampa, Florida. JR, we've got a huge show tonight. The WWE Championship will be up for grabs. The game. Triple H puts his title on the line against MVP. John Cena beat Chris Jericho to become World Heavyweight Champion on Raw just a few days ago. And I bet MVP is looking to follow suit. on the title, I'm not going to let it go for a long, long time. Time to play the game? Huh. You want to get played, all right.
WWE Championship on the line. The game. He's not going to be thrown off by the posturing of MVP tasks. Absolutely. But man, does MVP want that championship bad or what? He's not going to let this opportunity go easy. Looking for the one, two, three. And MVP fights to kick out. MVP's got to be careful not to get frustrated or overzealous in this one. If he does, Taz, you know the cerebral assassin will capitalize. A vicious elbow throw delivered with a ton of force. And it goes running. There's that double A spine buster by Triple H. Going for the pinfall. One, two, three. The game gets the win. Another foe vanquished by the King of Kings. Triple H just showed MVP who the real playmaker is. MVP put up a heck of a good fight, but the Cerebral Assassin proved to be too much for him tonight. Too much is right. Triple H is going to be a tough champ to dethrone. Believe that. It's all about the Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We're here live from Sin City, Las Vegas. This is the perfect location for Monday Night Raw. My left foot is itching tonight, Michael. I think tonight is going to be an even crazier show than usual. Well, I do know Mr. McMahon has a big announcement to make tonight. As chairman of WWE, that could mean quite literally anything. Like a big pay raise for color commentators? Yeah, it probably won't be that day. Speaking of money, the WWE chairman is coming to the ring. As many of you know, we're just starting to pick up speed on the road to WrestleMania. Now, usually, this means rivals are jockeying for position in the respective brands. Championships are changing or being strengthened and so on. That's not the road I necessarily envision this year. I want brand warfare. I want the best of Raw and the best of SmackDown. And I want him to prove who truly is the champion of champions. I want to see SmackDown versus Raw. Come on out here. I called for title matches on both Raw and SmackDown last week. And you both emerged as the champions. But that could, and most likely will, change. What matters is who holds the championships after No Way Out. Now, since I've gathered the entire WWE roster here tonight, we're going to have a little interbrand battle royal. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's kind of nice to be back on Raw. 
I should remind all the Raw fans why I am the game. Winning this battle royal should do the trick. And the intra-brand battle royal has begun. in there, King, just like it will be at WrestleMania. There's a long way between now and then, Michael. You're right, but we're out of time for tonight. In a world full of winners and losers, two men have risen above to bring you The Dirt Sheet. Mr. McMahon is looking for the best in WWE to go at it at WrestleMania to determine the champion of champions. Yeah, hello, boss. Remember us? I'm pretty sure you sign our enormous paychecks every week. And you've complimented my abs on more than one occasion. But instead, he just wants the Raw and SmackDown champions. He never even mentioned ECW. So we thought we'd take a look at these so-called champs. First up is John Cena, world heavyweight champion. First he's a rapper, then he's a soldier. One thing's been consistent, though. He's, he's always lame. lame. Then there's the game, Triple H. He's WWE champion. First off, only losers play games. It's true. Next, what does he do? The guy hasn't had a cool move since he did that little bow thing, and that was like 15 years ago. So, Mr. McMahon, we urge you to take a closer look at ECW, and more specifically, us, because we are the guru of greatness. And your chick magnet, be, be jealous. jealous. And welcome to ECW Live from San Antonio. Todd Grisham and Matt Stryker here. Glad you're joining us tonight. Some other people are joining us tonight as well, Todd. Evidently, The Miz and Morrison's latest episode of The Dirt Sheet poked some fun at John Cena and Triple H, both of whom are in the building. Let's just hope they're only looking for the heads of The Miz and John Morrison and not the rest of us. I would throw you under the bus so fast. You do know that, don't you? I always knew you two were avid viewers. 
viewers of The Dirt Sheet, and who can blame you? But if you're upset about our insightful commentary, we'll gladly meet you in the ring to have a spirited debate. I mean, beat your faces in. Oh yeah, these two need to get hurt. I don't care if it's for me or Cena, but Miz and Morrison should each eat at least two finishers. Here we go, and Stryker, you can smell the arrogance in the air. Miz and Morrison are the two cockiest men in all the WWE. Well, I typically can't stand what these two have to say, but right now, I appreciate the fact that Miz and John Morrison stood up for our brand, EC Dunk. The Zebra's gonna count to five. Ooh, the impact, he's out. And he gets out. And he shoots him up. An emphatic spine buster from the game. As we stated at the start of the program, Triple H and John Cena are here for a little bit of payback after the statements made on the dirt sheet. My job virtually hit the space bar when Miz and Morrison called Cena lame. And then when the Miz said of Triple H that playing games is for losers, quite frankly, you had to think that there'd be hell to pay. And boy, are they paying it. Oh, that'll take so much out of you. Oh, there's a hard blow. Spine buster, Triple H nailed it. Last week on Raw, the WWE Chairman, Mr. McMahon, stated WrestleMania will feature SmackDown's champion versus Raw's champion. And much like our maladjusted compatriots, I felt extremely slighted that ECW wasn't mentioned in this battle for the agent. Okay, looks like order's restored. Here comes the backup. needs to do whatever he can to make a tag. Got a referee down, and who knows what we're gonna see next. Put him in a body bag. And there's the Irish whip. <clears throat> and he's toast. He's sent running. Tagging in his partner. With the technology of today, he didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Triple He's eight. going for it. Triple, Triple H caught him with the spine buster. Watch it here. Triple H looking for some big impact. And the force of that knee makes a statement. Big DDT, a big time DDT, and his skull was grounded. Wait a second, what's he doing? 
angry face first. Oh, no. And there's the pin. One. This could be it. His partner's out. Three. Triple H and John Cena pulled out the victory. I guess the whole is not greater than the sum of its parts. Look, I'm the teacher here, okay? Quit stealing my lines. But you're right. Despite Morrison and Miz's unity, they fell to these reigning world champions. Maybe those two will think twice before they insult someone. Though I doubt it. Good night. And I am my Thank you for tuning in to Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole with my partner, Jerry the King Lawler, and we have a ticked off big red monster on our hands. During the Interbrand Battle Royal two weeks ago, Kane seemed fixed on John Cena. Tonight, he gets him one on one. Is there method to Kane's madness, or is he just lashing out randomly? Only the big red monster knows for sure. Last week to play with ECW Cena. I don't like waiting. But tonight, I'll get my hands on you, and there's no disqualification. I'm going to make sure the wait was worth it. <laughs> I don't know what I did to tick Kane off, but he's really not a guy to reason with. Maybe if I put him through a table right away, I'll knock some sense into him. The twisted and demented Kane has been absolutely fixated on the man from West Newberry, Massachusetts. And you don't want to be anywhere near the big red monster when he gets like this. Nice reversal. A great reversal by Cena. Here we go. Irish whip. That'll do some damage. I can't believe it. I just, I mean, that's concrete. How do you do that to another human being? That table's in a million pieces. But it looks great compared to who just went through it. Oh, he's just taking it to him. impact for the next. Kane with a devastating counter. Oh man, that could be a knockout. And there's the reversal. Oh. Good night. Marry me. Oh, did you see that knee? Oh, what Jericho doing out here? Kane isn't the only one who wants a piece of you, Cena. At Royal Rumble, I'll regain my championship and get one step closer to being crowned champion of champions. I was the first undisputed WWE champion, so it's clearly my destiny. But since you're in a no disqualification match, I think I'll just smack you around right now. He's through playing around. A face 
face buster. Last Tuesday night on ECW, we saw the very unusual pairing of Triple H and John Cena take on the Brad Miz and Morrison. That was nothing short of a beatdown, Cole. Miz and Morrison are phenomenal athletes, but Cena and the game went to San Antonio to prove a point. Incredible counter. And Cena locks in the STF. He's had enough. This could be it. Cena wins. Cena wins. That victory for John Cena was a near miracle. I don't know where he finds the strength to win against such overwhelming odds. That's why he's the world heavyweight champion, Michael. We'll see if he can retain his title this weekend at the Royal Rumble. Good night, everybody. Greetings from Albuquerque. Home of the final SmackDown before the Royal Rumble. Well, there's a locker room full of superstars who all want to win the Royal Rumble match. But only one guy will get the title opportunity against Triple H at the Rumble. The top three contenders all have a crack at Triple H tonight with a lot at stake. Winning tonight would give me a huge mental advantage at the Royal Rumble. It's time to prove why I'm called the Cerebral Assassin. Triple H is facing down not one, not two, but three contenders. All these guys are tough, but only one can earn a championship match at the Royal Rumble. He hit the big time leg drop. just beat his top three contenders at the same time. Talk about a confidence booster. He's going to the Royal Rumble riding an incredible high. I wonder who he'll select as an opponent on Sunday. After that performance, it might not matter. Don't miss the Royal Rumble, folks. Good night.
ladies and gentlemen, at the Royal Rumble. I'm Jim Ross, a long way from Oklahoma, along with Taz, and we're in beautiful Calgary, Alberta, Canada, for one of WWE's flagship events. I'm telling you, JR, tonight is going to be some night. Both Triple H and John Cena will put their championships on the line. Then, of course, it is the, uh, a little thing called the Royal Rumble match itself. Big time. Don't forget the ramifications of those title matches. We're edging closer to WrestleMania, where both brands' champions will compete to become champion of champions. WWE Championship is on the line, and this time, Triple H was able to select his opponent. Yeah, but there was no gimme in that group. And he unloads with everything he's got. Drop. Oh. He's taking his opponent to school here. A serious shot there. He's looking to do some serious damage right here. Damn! Pedigree! They don't get much bigger than that. He's making a cover. Is a opponent around the ring like a dirty little rag doll. Driving the knee into the opponent. Press. One, two, three. Triple H wins. The game wins. The game has retained his title and reasserted his dominance. Talk about a huge win for the game. Triple H has all the momentum in the world on his side. It's going to be awfully tough for anyone to dethrone Triple H before WrestleMania. He showed a lot tonight. And this night is far from over. I don't know if you were watching, but I've still got gold around my waist. We'll see if you can say the same after the night is over. Here we go, World Heavyweight title on the line. And this is a title Chris Jericho sincerely wants back. World Heavyweight Championship decided right now at the Royal Rumble. How huge is this? Oh! <clears throat> He's wobbled. Cena, 
World Championship on the line. Cena, a multi-time champion. Jericho, the former champion. One. Jericho Two. likes to talk about respect. Three! And I don't think Cena did it. Cena gets the win. John Cena overcame some real adversity tonight, but has emerged with the World Heavyweight Championship still in his grasp. Jericho tried everything in his power, but Cena is on an unbelievable roll right now. And one superstar is about to go on a roll at the expense of 29 others. The Royal Rumble match is next. Holy smokes! Did Big Show dominate this Royal Rumble or what? It takes more than size to beat 29 other men. But Big Show used every tool in his arsenal to destroy the competition. Why he wasn't a contender to face Triple H is anybody's guess. But I'm sure he turned plenty of heads with that impressive showing. Impressive was right, Taz. And it describes this entire night. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to SmackDown, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia. This is Jim Ross, along with Taz, five days removed from Royal Rumble. It was a great night for the old blue and silver baby SmackDown. Triple H retained the WWE Championship, and SmackDown's own Big Show put a hurting, big hurting, on 29 other guys to win the Rumble match. What's next for these two superstars? Hopefully, we'll find out tonight. Congratulations on your Royal Rumble victory, Triple H. But you know, there's still plenty of time for both you and Cena to lose your championships. Take tonight, for instance. You two will be teaming up. Should one of you be defeated, that person loses their title and the winner gets it. That should be exciting, right? Let me guess. You got a message from Vince, too. Yeah, he's on a bigger power trip than usual. So, what say we stick to the usual understanding? You stay out of my way, I'll stay out of yours. Yeah, that's a much better idea than working together to ensure we win the match. I don't need you, Cena. Not in the least. If you need help to keep your title, that's not my problem. Have it your way, Hunter. I won't ask for anything. And I won't give you anything. Man, that guy lacks some serious people skills. This is a huge chance for both Shelton Benjamin and JBL. It's basically a title match for those two. Can you imagine if KBL pinned Triple H and became WWE Champion? And there's the count. There's the Irish whip. Finally, the ref cleans this mess up. Good Lord Almighty. He's looking to do some serious damage right here. The pedigree. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. And he makes the save. And he finally heads back out of the ring. Finally, he might get some order in this match. What impact from the knee. Man, how did he even take that? Oh. 
It appears he's looking to put his opponent away here. Zing! He reversed that one. Out of the ring. What's going to happen now? Unloading the punch. was a huge shot. Looks like he's going for it. Yeah, pedigree. They don't get much bigger than that. Oh. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. Wait a second, what's he doing? And he has to make a tag to his fresh partner. A shattering pedigree. He's making a cover. One, two. And he stops the count. One. Oh, jeez. at the strength behind those strikes. And it goes running. And there he goes. He's got victory in mind for sure. might do it one two two man talk about a timely save one. down he goes the game's going for something big he's going in for the kill Watch this, watch this! Oh, good three! What impact! Irish whip! Whoa, look at this! Oh, no, the game just wins his opponent! Uh-oh, the ref's on Green Street right about now! Right now, that might be the last person in the world who want to hang with one. Not even dance. Oh no! Everybody in this arena knows what's coming next. One, one two, three, three. They did it! What? What a man! They might not be best friends, but Triple H and John Cena pull off the victory. You back those kind of guys into a corner, JR, and they're more dangerous than ever. Cena and the game prove that tonight. It's the Big Show. Hot off his Royal Rumble victory, he doesn't look happy. There went Shelton. JVL is no match for the largest athlete in the world. He 
just took out both champions at once. I'm done being overlooked on SmackDown. How do you overlook a seven foot tall, fire breathing giant? I demand a trade to ECW. They've been ignored for too long, and I have too. Together, we'll be ignored no more. Well, it's a big show. My God, Taz! Big Show heading back to the land of extreme? With revenge on his mind, JR, this is trouble. Thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Raw is live from Buffalo, New York. This is a beautiful city, but it's a little on the chilly side. Unlike you, Michael, I'm not used to getting a cold reception everywhere I go. Well, King, you'll be happy to know that things will heat up tonight. Randy Orton has earned himself a shot at John Cena's World Heavyweight title in our main event. John Cena once again put his championship on the line, this time against Randy Orton. Meanwhile, we're joined by the world's largest athlete. Uh, what brings you to Raw, Big Show? Since everybody thinks Raw is such a superior brand, I wanted to see how good it was. Show, do you really think that along with ECW, you can take over WWE? Do you know who you're talking to, Michael? Name one person in WWE in the world who can stop. Look at Cena go. One, two, three. I don't believe it. This one's over. For John Cena. You call that impressive? Watch ECW tomorrow. Watch me destroy Tommy Dreamer to become ECW champion. Then you'll see impressive. Is Tommy Dreamer on the verge of putting away Big Show? Uh, yeah, that would be a no. Stomping grounds, Big Show is... This represents a changing of the guard. It's time for ECW to take a stand. We need to fight back against SmackDown, against Raw. And show them we're not just as good as them. We're better. 
then we deserve a presence in the Champion of Champions match. A giant presence. We are winners, show, and we know other winners when we see them. We'll stand by your side in this noble quest. We think Raw and SmackDown are a bunch of wussies anyway. Cena, Triple H, prepare for ECW. another edition of SmackDown. I'm Jim Ross, here alongside Taz in wonderful Seattle, Washington. You know, it rains a lot here in Seattle, but the Big Show sure can cause a storm here on ECW. It's like he's a leader of a rebellion or something. He all but declared war on the other brands. But we can't worry about that. Not when we have a WWE Championship match tonight featuring Triple H and Edge. Big Show making threats, I can't risk my match being interrupted. I should try to finish off Edge as soon as possible. Triple H defending the WWE Championship once again in this highly competitive match against Edge. Edge knows how to win in a clutch. A pure freshman player. The title could change hands tonight. Look out! Hitter! He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to win. Oh, man! There's a good shot. Don't get much bigger than that. He's making a cover. And a kick out. The game seems to be fighting with a sense of urgency here, Taz. You heard what Big Show said on ECW. I'd be concerned also. Down he goes. But the strength behind those strikes. The pedigree. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Triple H wins. The game wins. The Cerebral Assassin may be more dominant than ever before. If there's anyone who's a WWE Hall of Famer in the making, it's him! Oh no! Big Show's threats have come to fruition! ECW is attacking the WWE Champion! These two may have bitten off more than they could chew, messing with the game. Oh man, Triple H's own trademark sledgehammer comes back to haunt them. Followed up with Morrison's signature Moonlight Drive. Desecrate the WWE Championship like that? Ugh. I cannot believe what we have just witnessed. Welcome 
to Monday Night Raw, live from Cleveland, Ohio. Michael Cole, along with Jerry the King Lawler. Michael, John Cena's World Heavyweight Championship is again on the line tonight. I can't believe how often he's been forced to defend it lately. Every week gets us closer to WrestleMania King. The champion of champions match is looming, and everyone wants to be involved, including JBL. Just the man I wanted to see. You got it rough these days, Cena. Having to defend your championship almost every week. I'll do you a favor. I'll beat you so bad, you won't be able to compete tonight. If you could barge in here and actually do that, then I don't deserve to be a champion. Let's do this. I guess Mark Henry didn't come alone.
my goodness. Superhuman power by Big Show. And he's pummeling John Cena. Cena's body was rocketed to the concrete floor by a giant choke slam. He needs immediate help. Somebody get back there. He's not going to do the same thing Miz and Morrison did on SmackDown, is he? This went way beyond just making a point. Big Show is absolutely sick. Well, look who made their way back to our little neck of the woods. ECW, we have to hand it to you. You did what nobody on Raw or SmackDown has been able to do to us. You came to our shows, beat us up, and destroyed our titles. I'm no scientist, but I think the formula goes, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's why we're here. To prove Sir Isaac Newton right. Now, we could stand here and talk about what we're gonna do to you, Big Show. Or you could just get your big ass out here and take the beating you have coming to you. Well, it's a Big Show. Maybe you two don't realize, but there's a brand war going on. Mr. McMahon wanted competition. Well, he got it. And we fired the first shots. You made ECW out to be worthless, so we made your titles worthless. And now you're here. For what? To start something you can't finish? You boys are outgunned. Allow me to demonstrate. Cena and Triple H are destined for the Hall of Fame. How self-absorbed do you have to be to barge into ECW and think we wouldn't be prepared? Well, ECW's ready, but are we truly ready for Cena and Triple H? Just a pummeling. Elbow comes down hard. 
Submission applied here. The only reason I'm saying nice is she's not on me. Ouch. Watch it, watch it. Oh, head's got to be robbing. That would break the back of a normal man. Pedigree! Knee drop. He's got him hooked. He's seeing stars. Ooh, with a little stank on him. Tremendous focus and determination right here. Checking for some cracked ribs. Yeah, he's going to need a sling after this one's over. An epic punch. <laughs>
Cena and Triple H may have taken down some soldiers, but ECW's general is still at full strength. The champions of Raw and SmackDown have retaliated against ECW here tonight, but this is far from over. from Indianapolis, Indiana. And welcome to Monday Night Raw with Jerry the King Lawler. I'm Michael Cole, and do we have a show for you tonight? Cena may have been handling issues with ECW recently, but the animal Batista has worked his way up to become number one contender for Cena's World Heavyweight Championship. The two will meet this weekend at No Way Out, but they'll actually be partners tonight in tag team action. shot. In fact, I hold you responsible for the World Heavyweight Championship getting destroyed. Ah, some champ you are. What a match this should be. We have the former champion, the current champion, and perhaps the next champion. Boy, when you say next champion, it's hard to put a finger on who that could be. Batista has a title shot this Sunday, but Jericho and Kane are waiting in the wings. What force behind that tackle? And he gets leveled. Look at the power. Oh, what a slam. What impact. Oh, my. Look at this. What a sick spine buster by the animal. You're in the and he's in there trying to get something going for his partner. trying to prove something to each other. Well, it's obvious that the animal and Cena are trying to outdo one another. He desperately, desperately needs to make a tag here. Oh, jeez! Nice backdrop! caught oh my gosh the Batista bomb he shook the entire arena with that one one two three they did it they won the match I have to say that I'm surprised Cena and Batista managed to hold it together there's mutual respect there, definitely. I don't think they'll be quite so cordial at No Way Out, however. 
Especially when Mr. McMahon said whoever has the title after No Way Out will be in the Champion of Champions match. No Way Out is definitely an event you don't want to miss. And it's this weekend. See you then, folks. Joining us tonight for Friday Night Smackdown, ladies and gentlemen, JR and Taz, coming to you from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I don't know if Triple H is aware of this or not, since he's been busy with ECW, but Jeff Hardy earned a title opportunity at No Way Out. You're absolutely right, Taz, and GM Vicky Guerrero even agreed to make it a tables match, which could give Hardy an advantage. Neither one is going to have an advantage here tonight, in my opinion. They're going to have to work as a team. I can't believe what you let those ECW losers do to you, Triple H. Think you should strip you of the WWE Championship just for that. You're lucky I didn't have any respect for you to begin with, or I would have lost it all right then. going to be absolute tag team warfare. And that one staggered it. Oh, good free. What impact. MVP wasn't ready for that one. But can he keep it up? Can he keep up this performance? Oh, man, I feel bad for him. He hits the drop kick. More big. What a series. Nobody's backing down here. He's going in for the kill. Twist the fate. Twist the fate. Hardy nails it. His partner's being punished, and he's seen enough. Finally, the ref cleans this mess up. Here goes the Irish whip. <laughs> That's got to be it. No one can survive that kind of punishment. There you go, ref. Get that little slap out of there. Wait a second, what's he doing? Push the fate out of nowhere! He's making a cover! And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Oh! And that one got it.
like trouble right there, I'm telling you. And Hardy hits the twist of fate. But definitely hit hard. Good read. There's a good shot. Well, oh, that one floored it. Superstars got a check in the win column tonight, but only one will leave no way out as champion. Whatever partnership they had tonight could go right out the window in a second. These two talented athletes will let bygones be bygones. Things have erupted here. who started that, but Triple H definitely finished it for tonight. But in two days, they'll settle things in a table smack, both for the WWE Championship and to determine who will go to WrestleMania and compete to become Champion of Champions. No Way Out live from the Motor City. I'm Michael Cole calling the action with my colleague Jerry the King Lawler. What a show this should be, Michael. John Cena gets the Animal Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. The roof could blow off this arena. And let's not forget the tables match for the WWE Championship on the SmackDown side with Triple H taking on Jeff Hardy. Let's get right to the action. And here's our first major title match of the night. Jeff Hardy's been in more table matches, but nobody in the WWE comes close to the championship experience of the game. He got that big old table. The 
strong momentum is all with that man right now. Good God! The human body was never meant to... Triple H wins. The game wins. The game retained his WWE Championship in smashing fashion. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a shame that, that the ECW guys kind of destroyed the, the title belt. I don't really agree with that. If I'm not mistaken, this means Triple H also has a ticket to WrestleMania and the Champion of Champions match. Well, we'll see if John Cena can do the same thing against, well, Batista next. John, it's Shane McMahon. I know you're getting ready for tonight, but uh, just gotta just gotta say there's been a little change. After watching the SmackDown Tables match, I'm adding a stipulation to yours. It will now be a last man standing match. Good luck. This is our main event of the evening. John Cena versus the Animal Batista. I can't believe Shane made this a KO match. As if this showdown needed an extra dose of brutality. There's all sorts of crazy stuff under the ring. And all of it can inflict a lot of damage on an opponent. There's another huge shot. Look at Cena go. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. Cena and Batista. There may not be two more beloved superstars on the Raw roster. It's always electric when these two men square off, but I can't believe they're going to actually try to knock each other out. That was vicious. He's just brutalizing his opponent. hand had a lot of force behind it and he might be ringing that bell one more time this is it here he goes And that implement connects again. What a neck breaker! I think he's through playing around! Again? Batista is barely hanging on. Anyone else would already be out by now. The animal's will is unbelievable.
Cena did it. Cena gets the win. Cena did the seemingly impossible. He knocked out Batista. And his reward is a date with destiny at WrestleMania. Tonight's action definitely lived up to the hype. It was amazing. It sure was, King. Thanks for joining us for No Way Out. We'll see you tomorrow night, live on Monday Night Raw. Triple H and John Cena retain their titles. That means one of them will be declared champion of champions at WrestleMania. Speaking of champions, John Cena is heading to the ring right now. Ever since Mr. McMahon talked about the champion of champions match at WrestleMania, the locker room has been buzzing. The WWE Universe has been buzzing. Tonight, we lead up to that monumental match. And since we're on my home turf of Raw, I volunteered to break things down. Since Mr. McMahon's announcement, a few things have changed, and a few things haven't. What stayed the same is that Triple H and I are still champions, even if our titles got a little remodeled recently. What's a little different is that Vince has thrown a big wrench into the works. That wrench is the ECW champion, Big Show. The three of us will compete in the next four weeks in a series of events called the Champions Challenge. That means I'll be slapping Big Show and Triple H around for the next four weeks. So I'm pretty excited about that. And whoever wins the most champions challenges will pick the match type at WrestleMania. Tonight, I get to choose. And I wanted to involve the WWE Universe. We're going to have something I call the Hype Meter Challenge. Me, The Game, and Big Show are all going to have separate matches. When we do something you like, you cheer. We do something you don't like, let us have it. Simple, right? The one who hits the highest point on the hype meter, and of course wins their match, is declared the winner. So let's start the show. Whoa, it looks like we're starting the champion's challenges right now. Here is his best score on the hype meter. You think that'll hold, King? We all know the fans love Cena, and the score reflects that. I'm not sure Triple H or Big Show can beat it, but I'm sure they're going to try. Big Show is up next. We'll see how he fares. Big Show looked good in that match, but the fans didn't think so. John Cena is still in the lead in the hype meter challenge, but Triple H is up next. This week's challenge is all in his hands. Triple H, I'm not your friend. I'm certainly not your buddy. But I am SmackDown, the same brand that you're representing. So me and everyone else on SmackDown wants you to bring home the Champion of Champions title. So you better give it your all. Got it? Triple H, the last of the three to compete tonight, has his work cut out for him. I have to hand it to Cena. I love this hype meter competition. The game came to play tonight. 
Here we go. Irish whip. wins the match and he tallied the highest score for the height meter challenge i have nothing but respect for the game but it's hard not to pull for cena being on raw these three will compete in another challenge again next week only then it'll be on smackdown good night everybody on the road to WrestleMania. And tonight is round two of Mr. McMahon's Champions Challenge. SmackDown's own Triple H is in charge of naming tonight's Champions Challenge. I'm sure the Cerebral Assassin has thought long and hard about what his challenge will be. Cena got his pick of the Champions Challenges last week with his little hype meter thingamajig. But this week, it's my turn. As Mr. McMahon said, the superstar who wins the most champions challenges, also known as me, the game, will have his choice of match type in the champion of champions match. But rest assured that no matter who chooses the match type, nothing can help John Cena and Big Show. Because at WrestleMania, I will be unstoppable. I am the king of kings, and I will be the champion of champions. But on to tonight. Everyone knows the pedigree is the most devastating move in the WWE. Tonight's challenge is the finisher marathon. Each of us will be in the ring for three minutes and we'll see how many times we can hit our finisher. My pedigree, Cena's throwback, and whatever Big Show does these days besides grunt. Whoever hits theirs the most gets the point. Did I mention the ring will be surrounded in flames? Now then, it's time to play the game. just willingly let himself be surrounded by flames and face more superstars that want to destroy him? The King of Kings knows no fear, Taz. Looks like he's going for it. A shattering pedigree. Like trouble right there, I'm telling you. Pedigree. He's showing everyone what he's got. The pedigree. 
He's looking to put his opponent away right here. from the first one. You darn sure heard it there. It appears he's looking to put his opponent away here. There might have been more impact delivered with that one than the last move, if you can believe that. Agree. They don't get much bigger than that. Oh man, look out! I love that double A spine, but just when the game needed it, he played that big part. A pair of aces. Oh my! Another thunderous move. There it is, the pedigree. Oh man, heads up. And another. Time has expired for Triple H. And that was certainly a lot of pedigrees. I've never seen so many in one night. That was awesome. John Cena is up next, ladies and gentlemen. Time has run out on John Cena, and he could not top Triple H's score. If the Big Show can't beat it, the game will take the point in the finisher marathon. And we'll see Big Show in action next. Big Show dished out plenty of choke slams, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, baby, Triple H takes the challenge. That's a score for SmackDown. Next week, the challenge will emanate from the home of Big Show. ECW. What will show have in store? I'm John Morrison, and four out of five dentists wish that they could be me. What about the fifth one? There's no accounting for taste. And I'm the guy your daddy tried to bribe to take you out. The Miz, welcome to the Dirt Sheet, live on ECW. Since this is the third week of the Champions Challenge, we were going to recap things. As you can see, Big Show pities his poor excuses for competition and is giving them a head start on whatever will go down to WrestleMania. Of course, it won't be enough for either Triple H or Cena, but Show is just that merciful of a giant. Since it's painfully obvious, Big Show is the better man. Not to mention, he has much cooler friends. True. For tonight's Champions Challenge, he decided to handicap himself. In his match tonight, one of his Champion of Champions opponents will choose whether Big Show cannot run, cannot reverse attacks, cannot attack a downed opponent, or cannot use his finisher. To make things fair, both Cena and Triple H will have one of these same handicaps imposed on them. But it's not like they're gonna win anyway. So sit back, 
put your arm around your imaginary girlfriend and watch our gigantic amigo, Big Show, dominate yet again. Be jealous! Well, Cena made a smart choice, but about the only way you're going to slow down Big Show is with a cement truck. Big Show has set the precedent, and now we'll see how John Cena does. Triple H will be selecting his handicap in the match. Yeah, these two have been buddy-buddy with each other as of late. I, I hope the game doesn't throw him a softball. Cena's overtaken Big Show? I knew Triple H was going to give him an easy handicap. To beat Umaga with so much against you, Cena is one impressive superstar. Eh, shut your face, hole, Grisham. This night is ruined for ECW, and you're kissing up to John Cena? Have you no pride, man? The clock has started, and Triple H will need to move faster than the Roman deity Mercury if he hopes to have the fastest time. Well, even if he had that speed, would it be enough to defeat the world's strongest man? And those massive California sequoia tree-sized legs get uprooted. doing out here? Isn't it obvious? Triple H, Triple H, Triple H. How many nicknames do you have? The King, the Cerebral Assassin, King of Kings. What? You're no chick magnet. And since you're not going to beat Big Show at WrestleMania, you're no champion of champions either. And by the way, since this is ECW, I can do this. go. There it is! The double A spine buster! Vintage game! Going for the pinfall. Now showing some frustration with the rest count. You got it. a big elbow drop. Sent for the rock. Triple H couldn't beat John Cena's time, and that means John Cena is tonight's Champions Challenge winner. But I'm far from panicking. And after all, ECW is represented by Big Show. When it comes down to it, 
No other WWE superstar can stand up to him. We're out of time for ECW tonight. The Champions Challenges will continue next week on SmackDown. WrestleMania. Jim Ross and Taz here, welcoming you to a very important edition of SmackDown. This is the last night of the Champions Challenge, right here on SmackDown. This is huge, man. Triple H, Cena, Big Show will have their final competition before they square off at WrestleMania. Speaking of WrestleMania, the WWE Chairman, Mr. McMahon himself, is standing by to explain a little bit more about Champion of Champions. Thank you, JR. I must say with a sense of pride that the Champions Challenge has been a rousing success. At WrestleMania, things will get even more heated. The three competitors will engage in a Champion of Champions Iron Man match. All three will be in the ring simultaneously, trying to defeat one another. It might be Falls Count Anywhere, it might be a tables match, or it could be Hell in a Cell. Regardless, at the end of the time period, I will crown the superstar with the most decisions as Champion of Champions. But there's one more challenge tonight, something I call the Beat the Clock Gauntlet Challenge. Each superstar must beat a series of opponents in a shorter time than the other two, to win this week's point. Good luck to all three champions. Triple, triple, triple the edge. You have the misfortune of having Santino Morella as one of your opponents in the beating of the clock's gauntlet tonight. I suggest you get in your sports utility vehicle and drive home right now, and save your strengths for the WrestleMania. Otherwise, I'm going to have to embarrass you with my exceptional skills. Triple H has a long night ahead of him. Hopefully not too long. The game needs to beat three tough opponents and do it quicker than either John Cena or Big Show. And their head bounces off the game's knee. The momentum is all with that man right now. And there he goes. Oh man, look out! And Triple H rocks his opponent with the knee. He's left the ring. This could be interesting. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. by Triple H. One, two, A quick cover. One, two, three. Oh, and King Regal's been eliminated. And another competitor is about to join the action. a heap of impact delivered with that elbow drop. Pedigree! And the kick 
out by DiBiase. Look out, Pinner. Evil intentions on the mind of the game. running and he kicked out oh man the pedigree he's looking to put his opponent away right here he's looking for the one two three He's been eliminated. And I gotta say, the look on his face is priceless. Oh! Down he goes. Out of the ring. What's gonna happen now? Now the tear comes into play. Oh man, did you see that? Somebody stop him. This is sick. The game beat all three superstars and logged a respectable time. Respectable? I consider it pretty darn impressive. There aren't many people that can beat three rough dudes back to back like that. We'll see if John Cena can do it and do it better than the game did next. John Cena should be proud of himself for running the gauntlet like that. Yeah, well, I'm not too happy about it. I wanted the game to win. Team SmackDown, maybe. The man large enough to be a team all by himself. Big Show is up next. Kennedy shows second opponent going for the mic check early. Oh man, and like nothing, Show takes out a second opponent. Who's next? Is that Kendrick? Or should I say, was that Kendrick? As if it needs to be said, Big Show is the winner of the Beat the Clock Gauntlet Challenge. In all my years in the WWE, JR, I have never, ever seen a man run through, straight through, three opponents that fast before. It's a good thing, too, because we're out of time. Don't miss WrestleMania, where Big Show takes this huge psychological advantage into the biggest match in WWE history. gentlemen this is wrestlemania the showcase of the immortals this is jim ross and taz coming to you live 
from Houston, Texas. Three of the most talented, most dynamic superstars in WWE history will compete tonight for the honor of being the champion of champions. The build-up to this match has been like no other. Let's look back at this road to WrestleMania. Mr. McMahon came up with this champion of champions idea months ago when he declared he wanted Raw's and SmackDown's title holders to compete. Triple H and John Cena remain champions, but Big Show demanded a trade to ECW and earned himself a spot. A series of challenges awaited the trio, with a winner getting to pick the stipulation behind the Champion of Champions Iron Man match, which happens in our main event tonight. Who will prevail and become the champion of champions in the most important WrestleMania match of all time? I want to wish you good luck tonight, Hunter. If I can't be representing SmackDown in that match, I'm glad it's you. Make our brand proud. opponent a chance to breathe. And he strikes with a quick kick. Oh man, heads up! There it is, the pedigree! He's making a cover. And Big Show's enormous shoulder manages to pop up. That kick rocked him. And it goes running. under the ring. One, two, three! Oh! He's certainly not showing his opponent any mercy here tonight.
The pedigree. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. There's the Irish whip. Lateral press. He's not going to get the three count without doing some more damage first. Jab, stiff shot with the elbow. And an Irish whip. Got that evil object again. A quick Irish whip. One more time. There's a good shot. Here goes the Irish whip. He's been knocked to the floor. And another knee. And a kick out by the biggest athlete in the world. And there's the Irish whip. And he was just sent careening off those steps. And five minutes have elapsed in this contest. Whoa, what do you think? What a sick! 
Kick Larry. He's got him hooked. Back body drop. That's going to leave a mark. Atomic drop, compressing the spine. A 
Ice shattering pedigree. Break. And again, he moves to the outside. Right hand. Oh, jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look out, look out. There it is, the pedigree. A quick Irish whip. And he's shaken. A stiff blow with the knee. And he unloads with everything he's got. Here goes the Irish whip. Whoa, whoa. Five minutes remain, and time really begins to be the enemy at this point. What an incredible effort. And the pendulum has swung again. I tell you, this one's for the ages. That one flattened him. Friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. Oh. Oh. We're down to the final three minutes in this match. Oh. And he threw a hard right hand there. And he's rattled. Looks like the tide has turned once again. My goodness, what a man. Ow! And that one definitely hit hard. Two times 
the pain on that one. Wait a second. What's he doing? Oh, the big show just crushed his opponent's rib cage with that leg drop. Ouch. I think someone's looking for an advantage under that. He's looking to be chairman of the board here. And again, he gets pegged with the object. Looks like he's planning on using that security barricade for a little more than crowd control. Uh-oh, his opponent's got him now. It's been a long, hard road to WrestleMania for these three champions. Wills were tested. Bodies were battered. But we finally have a clear-cut winner. But first, let us show respect to the loser of this match. In third place with... Wait a second. He doesn't deserve respect. He's a loser. Triple H, WWE Champion. You've given me more problems than perhaps anyone else in WWE history. But you've also won countless championships. You went from student of the game to being the game itself. Triple H, on behalf of World Wrestling Entertainment, I acknowledge you as the Champion of Champions. Thanks, Vince. Those might be the nicest words you've ever said to me, though that's not really saying a lot. This could very well go down as the toughest match of my career. Cena and Big Show took me to my limit, and I had to dig deep. I have to give them credit. I'm definitely going to enjoy this, especially since, you know, a bunch of ECW thugs destroyed the actual WWE Championship. This may be my crowning achievement, but it's not the end by a long shot. I am the King of Kings, and now I'm Champion of Champions. Hail to the King.